Yes, latest incident happening on board a four train as it was approaching the Brooklyn Bridge City Hall station earlier this morning. The victim trying to stop the suspect from harassing other passengers. Jessica Formoso live in Lower Manhattan with what we know so far. Jessica. Good evening, Teresa and Steve. Police quickly made an arrest in this case. A woman facing multiple charges this evening. She was charged with assault and harassment. As for the victim, a good Samaritan who was just trying to help his fellow New Yorkers, he was taken to the hospital. We're told he is in stable condition. Now, speaking with riders here today, they tell me they're on edge. Police have arrested 27 year old Takira Hester of Brooklyn for the stabbing of a man on a train early Wednesday morning. This was a, a terrible incident. According to police, it happened just before 6 a.m. on a southbound 4 train. Authorities say the female suspect started harassing and spitting on passengers. A 31 year old man tried to stop her, but as the Good Samaritan intervened, the suspect stabbed him in the back and neck. Once the train approached the Brooklyn Bridge City Hall station, the woman took off. Oh my God. Yeah, this is why you just mind your business in New York City. This is the latest subway attack in recent days. What's worse, the victim, an innocent New Yorker who was just trying to do the right thing. The random and unprovoked attacks have many writers we spoke with on edge. I'm really scared. I'm really scared about it. It's real scary that you have to keep watching over your shoulder for, you know, people throwing you over in the train tracks. I but Mayor Adams has said it's false perception that the situation underground is out of control, saying this morning in a system of millions, there are only a handful of crimes being committed. We're going to continue to go after those six felony crimes a day that we're witnessing, but I know that 3.5 million people use our system every day without any encounters. Saying crime is down on the subways, lower than pre-pandemic levels. Index crimes in the subway system right now, this year, 2022, are lower than 2019, 2018, 2017, and the last 10 years. This past weekend, the mayor and Governor Kathy Hochul announced their new plan to fight subway crime. One of the solutions, deploying more police officers into the transit system, although he admits they can't be at every station. We are strategically placing those officers during the ridership times, during what we see the crimes are taking place. I see police officers, but it always happens when they're not around. And the mayor telling me this morning that his goal is to get to zero crime in the subway system. New Yorkers tell me that a lot has to change for that to happen. We're live in Lower Manhattan tonight. I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News. Teresa Steve, back to both of you inside. All right, Jessica, thank you. And